to my channel well first of all I think I want to say happy new year because at this time it's November but I'm not sure if I will get the chance to um, edit because I'm super busy I'm not sure if I'll get the time to edit my videos just yet not quite sure when you guys will be seeing these videos um, hopefully I can start back posting next month but if not then happy new year <laughs> Um, anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana, but you can call me Mary B, and I am so happy to meet you. Y'all, I know I have been gone for a minute. I'm not gonna apologize for leaving, I'm just gonna apologize for leaving so abruptly and not saying anything. Anyway, this, this video is not a life update, okay? This is just a travel with me and I just wanted to bring in some context, some context into um, what you guys would be seeing in this video. Basically, it's a travel with me to Vietnam and um, so what you guys would have seen so far 
me packing, leaving home. So I had a layover in Houston, Texas, and then I went to um, New York, LaGuardia Airport. First time I've ever like used that airport, because usually when I go to New York, I always use JFK, but that one was pretty decent. Like, I like it. <laughs> anyway, um, I spent 24 hours in New York because I had some stuff to organize and all of that. So, so I ended up spending some time, well, well, a day in New York basically. And I did not get around to filming as much. I was super tired, but I did go to like Target and get some supplies, which I'll be filming a Target haul after this, probably right after I film this video for you guys. So if you see me in the same, if you see me in the same clothes, um, don't mind that um, but yeah I went to Target got some um, skincare supplies and makeup items uh, for my trip across to Asia oh by the way um, LaGuardia Airport was it was decorated Christmassy and I like y'all know I love Christmas so it it was it was so beautiful I love it um, yeah so I went into Target saw the Christmas got some toilet um skincare items and makeup items but y'all i had to stop by the christmas section and oh my goodness i didn't take any video footage there but i did um take snap a few photos to send to my sister so i'll probably put them on the screen for you guys but yeah um so yeah i just um took a few clips browsing uh, like driving through new york so the next day getting ready to go to the airport and stuff so i went to the airport and uh, um i was hungry because i had a really long wait at the airport because i wanted to uh, uh, avoid the traffic this was a monday that i had to fly um so i and apparently new york is pretty busy traffic key on Mondays so I went to the airport early and I just wanted to like make sure that I didn't miss any of my flights because it will be a whole <laughs> you just don't want to miss your flights especially when you're coming all this way right so I went to the airport early and I ate a uh, well I had leftover Jamaican food from the Sunday when I ate um, and y'all know I eat like a child so I had leftover food and so I ate that and then I saw um, a crepe place of which I then had to eat some had to get some crabs and it was so good I, I had like my favorite which was which is Nutella and uh, strawberries but they also had bananas in this one but I just like for me i just like the plain nutella and strawberries alone i don't need the bananas but it still tasted really good so the airlines that i traveled with from new york to doha which would be my next stop um doha qatar was qatar airlines y'all let me tell you guys these this airline oh luxurious so luxurious like i've flown and this was just economy I've flown. I've flown first class on other airlines before, but I'm telling you guys, Qatar Airlines is it. It is it. Like the <laughs> the luxury. I took a, a small clip of what first class looks like when I was walking down to the economy section. Oh, it's beautiful. And even the in the economy, it was like they treated us so well. We had like three square meals. They gave us three square meals. Well, I guess they had to because the flight was 12 hours, 12 hours and five minutes long. So yeah, they had to anyway, but um, the food was also very tasty and you had options, three different options each time. So you had three different options for dinner, um, well, for the snack, well, they call that movie time because it was like a overnight type of flight. So they call that movie time, which they gave us, gave us like a pastry, like a curried vegetable pastry. It was so good. Um, but I don't think that, that I took any photo or video footage of that. But anyway, it was good. Um, the next morning we had breakfast. I had eggs and spinach and stuff, but I, like I, y'all know I don't do gluten. I don't really do gluten. I don't cook gluten and stuff, but, um, 
on these flights practically almost everything is gluten so the egg meal had gluten in it as well I only ate the eggs and the spinach alone and had the yogurt you all know I love a plain yogurt yogurt fruit oh it was so good love it I didn't have a window seat so I couldn't really film on the outside but the screen in front of me like you could see there are cameras where we can view what's going on outside so there's a rear camera a forward facing camera and a camera facing downwards so I did get a, um, some of that footage for you guys okay so now we're in Doha Qatar and I've never been to the Middle East I it's actually one of the places that I would like to go if you've been here for a minute then you know that um, I have already visited four continents and there are three more on my list to visit because I want to visit every single continent, <laughs> right? That's that's my hope and plan. <laughs> now I'm already in Vietnam, so now I can tick Asia off of my list. So now I only have two more continents to visit. But anyway, that's not what, as I said, this is not a life update. So this is not what this video is about. But um, the Middle East is somewhere that I always want to go as well because I guess I'll tell you guys that in the future. But there's a reason that I would like to visit the Middle East. But anyway, so we got to Doha, Qatar. And let me tell you guys, I had a six hour layover on um, in that airport. And at first, when I saw how long my layover was going to be for, I was like, oh my gosh, but I'm gonna be so tired because I'm traveling to somewhere that is like a 12 hour time difference and I know I didn't want to be like super jet lag. So the six hour layover would have been a lot for me. Or so I thought. Y'all, I utilized that time so hard. That airport is the most beautiful. Well, I would have showed you guys the clips before. The clips that you guys saw before. That is of Doha Airport. It is, oh my goodness, stunning, stunning. The most beautiful airport I have ever been in. Hands down. There, nothing can compare to that one, okay? Granted, I haven't been to every single airport in the world, but out of all the ones that I've been in, that one is the most beautiful. Love it, oh my gosh, there's nature in there. And there was a Wagamama, I don't, um, well, I don't know if you guys know this, but when I used to be in London, I used to, go, I ate a lot of Wagamama, a nice chicken katsu curry, oh, love that so much. And so when I saw a Wagamama there, I just had to have my chicken katsu curry. So I had that and um, it was pretty good. I, I. I asked them to pack it for me to go so that I can eat it at my um, gate while waiting. I, I prefer to do that because it was the safer thing to do because the airport is so massive. I wanted to get to my gate and just sit there and not have to ha worry about anything. So sat there and had my dinner. I guess I'll be because it was nighttime then. Yeah, the footage that you guys would have seen would have been from them having it uh, into go containers as opposed to if I was eating it there at the restaurant you'd see it would look different on the plate but it the taste was still impeccable so now I got I got to my last flight uh, oh by the way from New York straight to Vietnam each flight was um, on Qatar Airlines just wanted you guys to know that so I I got the best treatment the whole run so you know I, I had I, th I didn't have any uh, complaints, you know, I didn't have any complaints. I thoroughly enjoyed. Oh wait, hold on, from New York, I went from New York to Boston, I forgot, on American Airlines. New York to Boston, then Boston, I left Boston to come to, uh, to Qatar. Um, yeah, and so last flight and everything from Qatar to Ho Chi Minh City or if you are older then you would know it as Saigon I also know it as Saigon as well um, got here and there was no issue with customs or anything like that with immigration anything like that it was pretty nice easy flowing all my luggage got um, checked through straight from Boston to Vietnam and I was really worried that they will be lost but they weren't so I'm happy about that got everything and as I stepped outside Charlie was there waiting for me to um, take me to my hotel and she was just like so excited she was like ah! 
<laughs> so and she bought me a coconut she had a coconut water waiting for me that's so you guys would see yeah me drinking the coconut water and she thinking i'm taking a, f a photo but when it was really a video <laughs> but anyway um i'll leave you guys with uh, the clips oh wait thank you so much for watching I'll leave you guys with the clips of me on my way to the hotel and I will catch you guys in my next video. I think the next video would be the Target haul because uh, I want to film that separate and uh, I also bought a uh, perfume in uh, uh, Qatar so I'll share that in the Target haul as well and then after that look then you'll see more vietnam vlogs but yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe click that notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.